Hello everyone, let us discuss a question from GATE 2014 CS paper. This question is based on database management system concepts. The question says, consider the relation R, the attribute sets are given over here, and the functional dependencies are over here. What is the key for R, right? So there are four options. Now the easiest way to do you take each option, the set, right, and try to find out closure of it. If the closure includes all the attributes, that's basically the key. And uh, it has to be the minimal also, right, because if it determines everything, basically it is a super key, but minimal of a super key is a key, right. So it has to be determinant for all the attributes. At the same time, it should be minimal of it. Right. So let us go one by one. So we are having the R relation and the dependencies over here. So let us check the closure for EF. So if you have this EF, so by default this closure will include EF. Now EF determines G, so I can add G over here. F determines IJ. Right. Now none of this appears on the left hand side of the rest of the functional dependencies, right? So this is the closure which do not includes all the attributes of R. So this is not a super key or key. If we go for B option, we have EFH. Now to find out the closure of EFH, let me have it as a set, okay? Uh, by default, I'll have EFH, right? Now EF determines G, F determines IJ, EH, so we have EH determines KL, K determines M and L determines N. So it's include everything, right? So that means it's basically covers the enter R. Let us see the option. So EFH already there inside it, so it automatically cover everything, but it is not the minimal, so it's basically a super key, but it's not a key, right? Now the fourth option, if we consider, that's we are checking for E. Now E by default covers E, but nothing else, right? So it's do not determine all the attributes of your R. So definitely this is not the answer, or it's not the key. So correct choice is B, right? because it covers all the attributes of our, of our relation R. Okay, so hope you understood this. Thanks for watching.